Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhangzhou campaign. This is episode 11. We picked up from turn 67 in the spring season of 196. So picking things up, uh, down south we ended last episode with a big fight here outside of Jian'an. Uh, we took a heavy hit. We basically ended the battle with just our generals, so that was really rough. Um, we have the right general leading, so I don't need to go for flexibility. I think instead we can probably work our way towards effortless flow. Getting a heal would be nice, actually. How close is he? Okay, so he can get the heal, I think. He can get a next level up. But he's already level 5. If we don't get the heal here, we're gonna have to wait till level 6 to pick up the heal. We're giving up 3% industry and some range damage. I guess we go for the heal. It's also gonna delay our effless flow, but that's fine. Now, we can continue to siege them. They're gonna suffer through attrition. The generals didn't die, so they're extremely low health. And this is probably the best way to do it. Just to use our generals with the heal ability that we just got and the remaining men to get this win. Uh, during the end turn if they come out and fight us again or we can just siege them out a little bit over here we have a free win here Cao Cao has an administrator here oh Zhu Jun he's quite old now right 51 well I guess we do start in 182 so still relatively young we'll delegate this there's no need to sit through a big siege there. What I'm more curious is when is also going to send a real army. He has a small regional city. That's actually kind of scary. Two level ups. Let's see what we can get. So here we can get Flaming Shot. So that's a no-brainer. Over here... He has range damage. He has range units, so this would work. Industry plus, or we can get some extra movement speed. I guess we're not in a rush to go anywhere. So I'm gonna get that. It's gonna work well with his retinue. And also faction-wide, it's gonna give us a nice amount of income. I'm gonna go for Forge. Let's see, we do have an army here that I wanted to sail down, but really depends on what's going on here. Zhang Fei's army disappeared, so we can just take down Lu Jun over here, Lu Kang's faction. I'm guessing this is Lu Kang's son. The age kind of checks out. Um, anything special about the son? No, outsider. All right. We'll try to save the time for Zhang Fei's army. Alright, now they're really not a threat. And we can just sail. Okay, those are just rebels. They're peaceful. Our goal is to capture ourselves a weapon craftsman. All the way in Shangyong, very far away. Ah, there's where Zhang Fei's army is. Okay, so they can come over here next turn, pick it up. Because um, they're not going to be able to make it. That way we can try to... Oh, Lady Ding. He they disbanded Zhang Fei. It's just Lady Ding now. What happened? They swapped Zhang Fei out. Hmm. Maybe he got unhappy and left? Alright, there's one more turn on this siege. Someone did inform me that... Apparently, if you're the old turbans and you take the capital and the mandate war end, you still have fervor. I'm not confident that's 100% true, but that kind of makes sense, I guess. If you're the Han Empire or any other faction in the game and you end the mandate war, fervor disappears. So that's why I was concerned, because that's the only experience I had uh, had with fervor. Uh, but we'll find out next turn, because the siege is about to end. They've been starving. Yeah, they're down to so little men here. Or I'm just starving out the city. Um, we don't have any new reforms, so only thing that we need to build are whatever it's not built yet. So here's a forge. Yeah, nothing really new. 
We could get rid of this. This is not really serving us any purpose. Yeah, I think we're gonna take care of uh, this building here. And we can probably go for... Hmm. What do we want instead here? We could do grain storage because the yellow turban grain storage actually provide peasantry income and that's kind of what's scaling right here along with food. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. For once we're going to build a grain storage. And all our armies have moved. Assignments, here we go. So they're not triggering any. Which is fine. We've been getting characters left and right. So let me cancel them and see if he will trigger. I don't think you can only do it with one. We've done it with sending four at a time. I think it doesn't matter if you stagger them or not. It's always just a chance event. So I think we're just going to keep refreshing it. I just want more characters. I don't need any other boost. We'll get all the boost from the faction-wide uh, character bonuses. So let's just continue. All right, so they're finally charging out to fight us. There's no towers and we have so many reinforcement that we're not really going to bother with this. Uh, this doesn't take the city right away. This is just their last ditch effort to rally out. They still have a few guys who ran back. The cavalry ran back. Free zeal. Alright, and Handan is not just gonna sit here and die. They have more men than us. Uh, once again, tough fight. Uh, the good units as well. So, let's see if we can deliver a knockout punch here in Jian'an's lumberyard. Let's go. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Same map, or relatively similar to the map we just fought in. Same location. Um, we are gonna try to use deployables, formations, a little bit better this time than last time, as well as throwing the traps out. We didn't even do that at all last battle. Hmm, we're gonna protect maybe one flank. And what I'm gonna do with the units, let's see, who's the healthiest here? 75? Wow, that's sad. Okay, so he's gonna be in the front. And yeah, 72 is the next highest. And the rest doesn't really matter. We're gonna go with like a V shape. Alright, and then these three are grouped together, obviously, they're gonna get the heal. We picked it up just for this, and the cooldown is 300 seconds, like most Yellow Term abilities. I believe all three, except for him, um, two of these have recovery, so we can just patiently wait here. Um, they're gonna come at us, they are here to challenge us, so we're ready to go. They have, they're not gonna duel us, they have no health. We have a rivalry going on with... Wait. It's not with us. That's not fair. It's clearly a rivalry with one of us. It's not between them. But we're not getting that bonus? Huh. Is it because the old turbans can't have rivals? I'm confused. They're gonna meet up with the reinforcement, I guess? I guess we'll cut till they get closer. See you guys then. Alrighty, and we're back. So they're coming. Uh, we're gonna send our generals out and we're gonna smash into this group of range units first because that's what scare me the most. If we can kill the general, that's fine too. They only have 3.5 health. That's a 3.5k health. It's not a lot of health. I think we can kill both on this charge. I think we just need one smash. Maybe not even one smash. Yeah, let's smash. End him. Oh, come on. Move, move, move. Don't smash then. I don't want to fight the spear. Alright, 
Right, there are real targets here. That's why we came here. He has 1.5k. He's almost dead. We just don't have good weapons. There we go. Move, move, move. Let's see. They're firing on us. We'll take it. Loop around. Alright. Our arrow towers are doing work. We lost two peasants? No, five. Uh, we'll take care of this first. If we can smash, I don't mind. Stay in, stay in range. It hit her. No, it didn't hit her. Picking up the nasty steel. Oh well. Oh, the cavalry hit. They bumped into a few of the stakes. It was pretty well placed, I guess. Predicted them coming from the left flank. Heal number two. You want to die? We do have one smash left. Yeah, don't move, don't move. There we go. They're approaching us. Getting shot left and right. Alright, routed another one. Yeah, the traps are killing them. Oh, they all died. Poor guys. Archers got them good. Alright. Everyone sick one group. We probably should have 30 these last battle. Probably would have made a difference. And we also have the fire in case they get here. We smash that group. Alright, we're just gonna pull them back. Can we run that? Alright, we do the charging around here. Right. I want to light the fire. See if we can do it.
And we don't want to step on our own traps, so there's that. Yeah, they're not going to the fire. That's fine. Yep, we're still overwhelming them with peasants. That's pretty good charge. Just run them down. 79. Wait. We have we have more charge than Z infantry captains? I guess yeah, Z never had good charge. You need spear units to have good charge. Yeah, but we completely overwhelmed them. Not gonna give chase. No one has abilities ready. Shoot that. Alright, we won. That's it. Not bad. Uh, there are still going to be remaining units to fight in the garrison. We'll probably just delegate that. Alrighty. Handan is now dead. He didn't have resiliency. Alright, we took down Luoyang peacefully. <laughs> Long siege. I don't know how peaceful that is. Um, I think we'll just occupy. It's not a very high tier city. Yan Alrighty, that's the official victory. Mandate wards all we had to do, but we're going beyond this. Uh, we can look at some stats though. We only had four duels. Ma Yuan is our main duelist. Fusi, it's been 34 battles. And we have Tangzhou coming out of his hat because I think the hat is an upgraded version of the armor and they're defaulting back to his original armor which is making it a little bit weird. Um, only been 68 turns. We could have done this in 50 if we really wanted to. Probably less than 50 if we really wanted to. Uh, we can peasant rush this campaign probably as fast as we did for Liu Hong's campaign. Um, let's see, we do have a bunch of items. Every time you recruit a new character, they bring a couple items to your faction. That's very nice. We haven't been doing a good job of organizing the items, but there's only one character giving us faction-wide bonuses, so I don't feel like that's that important. We have built quite a few buildings, and only 12 reforms out of 75, so still a long way to go. Yeah, nothing much. There's not much diplomatic stuff to look at. We have recruited a lot of retinues and we have lost a lot of units. There should be a total unit killed. Huh. Character left. Someone left our service? Maybe He Yi when we sent him away? That's my only guess. There we go. Number of soldiers lost 73k. That's the number we're really proud of. Uh, number of soldiers killed 105. Not bad. Anyhow, let's jump back into our campaign. Okay, Liu Xun is taking over. Sure. We got ourselves a general there. And we have successfully got campaign victory. A victorious rebellion. It's not a rebellion if we're victorious. And we let's see, who did we get? angry person we should send him out to do stuff uh, it's probably from the greedy trait and also he has no items we can fix that
Okay, he can take that for now. We don't have a local administrator. This one's part of a useful set. We do have a foreman, but we're not really completing sets with him right now. Level up here. Let's see. There's nothing super faction-wide. I think we can just give him this. Fire arrows plus 50% post-battle loot seems quite nice. And the new character we got is a healer. Well, we can get him to learn insight. He can manage some uh, rebels. We have reach and flexibility, so pretty good. Can't complain about that. And we did capture Loya. They have a temple here, which we don't need. They're going farm, which we also don't need. And garrison. Now, we don't need any of these buildings. Bad builds. Very low population, so we're going to use up these slots first before we upgrade the city. We didn't get any new character pop-up, so let's throw a few more assignments out there. Hopefully we can get one. Next turn. Alright, so we do have our army here. They just won the fight, they can get resupplied, and hopefully there is nothing else to take. The Lound Rebels already took everything nearby. If we look at Diplomacy, they are almost- oh, we touched! The Yellow Turbans have finally met. Um, we're not fighting the Lound Rebels, that's kind of our policy. We want them to eventually try to become an Emperor, so I guess our main army can go this way? Or maybe just keep going down south, and we can hit up Nobel over here. He's probably going to be the strongest target that's left. Uh, or Cao Cao and Sun Ce. But in the central plains, Yuan Shu and Nobel are probably the strongest. Nobel with his, you know, elite units. Uh, we already fought them over here in ambush fight. That was quite fun. Let's see if we can get another fight going. Down south, they need to hurry up and uh, replenish here. We'll pick up this win. Alright, we're gonna let the boys rest up. This turn, and then one more turn. That's he will be traveling anyways, and he'll be fully healed. We're hitting max 50%. I'm still looking for Cao Cao's main army. Oh, well, we found a couple of smaller groups. This one has Long Long. Maybe Cao Cao... Oh, I don't know when Wang Long would join him here. But, okay. And his son Cao Long. Okay, so we'll probably meet up over here eventually. We'll clean up this way. Alright, this is also just clean up at this point. We do have siege weapon in this group, so we should go after cities for efficiency sake. And Fervor is still here, so we can still enjoy the high tax policies without worrying about it. The closest city is actually Cao Cao's Jian'an, so we don't need to send them there. Well, it's only a town. This is a large city, but we'll leave that to our brothers. Hmm. I guess we can take care of that. They can keep going. The weapon craftsman must be ours. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um. Land. Land, land, land. Yan Bai Hu? I mean, that's actually. It actually would make sense for Yan Bai Hu to run to someone strong like Liu Bao. He did run around quite a bit historically. Okay, there goes our plan to get the Weapon Craftsman. I guess they can meet up over here if Liu Bao doesn't come after us this turn, which he might, and then we might get wiped. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to be on March. We're just peasants against Poison Volley. From Yan Bai Hu. That's gonna be a nightmare. 
Our defensive army has done its job. I don't think we need them here anymore. I'm going to recall them. And since we do have unhappy generals, we should send some of them out. We could take a trade port here. It doesn't hurt. Or we can actually launch our army. We should build our armies here just because we have the school, the garrison building here, conscript building. That's what we have. Maybe we build armies here and then we sail them down. There's lots of land in the cells to take, so. Now, who is unhappy? You're unhappy. Ooh, you have quite the retinue. Okay, you're coming out. You're also unhappy. It, it doesn't matter if they're happy with each other. Alright, you're coming out as well. Okay, they don't get along, but that's not our priority here. He will have siege weapon access. Oh, they're good leaders here. I think I'm going to make her the leader here. What should we run in this army? Well, let's see. Get extra armor. Extra range damage. Extra armor piercing melee damage. Nothing too special. Seems like she fits better for defensive theme, so I think we're going to go store shield on her. Extra armor, extra morale and defense, all the good stuff. We're not going to go crazy with siege weapons. Because I'm assuming he can recruit other troops efficient. Oh, actually, he's pretty good at range. Maybe... Yeah, maybe we just keep going with the siege weapons. Because we don't have high cunning, which means we pretty much have to rely on numbers by having more siege weapons than necessary. All right, he does have men for us. They're decent units. Um, but I think we're still going this way. All right, we have another healer here. Let's see what he's good for. Melee damage. I think I want to recruit Huang Lao unit on him. The one I've been raving about. And we don't have them yet. I think we have a few more turns until we unlock them. Two more turns and then eight more turns. So it'll be a while. I think before then he can just run peasants perhaps. Or maybe some sort of cavalry. To flush this army out. Or... We can go heavy axe. Unbreakable heavy axe. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun for now. We haven't really utilized those units in mass. Alright, so the unhappy generals are out on the field. He's unhappy because I switched out his weapon, but his lack of purpose should all go away very soon. We also have a satisfaction boost. No, we don't. No, we don't. Hmm. We need more communal ends. Uh, he'll be fine. Okay, we'll build ourselves another army. Our economy is humming along a little bit. Uh, you can see that corruption's really doing work as we expand. We could definitely trade away some of the less lucrative ones now that we have more land in the south. So we want to reduce our land holdings, but then Camino Inn is also important at this point. Alright, it's fine. We still have enough money. We'll start working the civic reforms once we get the units, the Huanglao Paragon. That's the one I really want to try out. Alright, we're solid. I think all the armies have moved. 
Yes, let's continue. Uh, we got Zhang Bao here attacking the rebels, the Yellow Turban rebels, rebelling against the Yellow Turban Alliance. Yeah, we'll participate. Uh, we won't actually fight them, we'll just delegate them. Alright, we'll probably clean them up during our turn. Oh, we capture them. I thought it would be him capturing. It's unfortunate, uh, but we could spare some yellow turbans. Maybe he will join the recruitment pool, maybe we can get him that way. Alrighty, another faction destroyed. Tal Tal's finding a powerful friend. Okay. Alright, I've got a nice weapon. I wonder if that's from the weapon craftsman. I don't think so. Alright, so this will be Commerce Peasant Street. So, Camino in first. We'll sit in the capital for a little while. Oh, he's listening to us. He's coming towards Jiangxia. Good for him. And our naval escape worked. We didn't get picked off. Which means we can take on Lady Ding this turn. She has a nice armor. Give us that armor. Drop it. Ah, uh, she didn't. It's okay. Not a big loss. Not like we can use armor. Okay, it's also almost completely destroyed. We also got a new character. Where is he? Okay, so he does need to pick up. Uh, I think we want Reach first. Uh, I want this as well. We'll get Reach first. Right, I think we're getting insight here. We need to speed up our reforms. I'm still unhappy. Okay. We can fix you. Pretty sure we just want him to get effortless flow. Industry bonus is nice. Actually, we'll take this. I don't know when he's gonna come off from the bench because we got so many other great veterans. So he's the one we got. Nice item, but we can't really utilize this very well. I guess we can give it to one of our administrators. Speaking of administrators, how are y'all doing? Ling Hu. Right, we should be stealing stuff from peasantry income, not what we're looking for. I guess this would be the best one. Build minus one. Alright, we do have a bunch of jian apparently. So we can probably equip those. Get ready to sail. Ooh, responding to them selling. Interesting. Xiao Hou Dun's here. Xiao Hou Yuan. Oh, okay. Okay, we got some interesting targets coming up. We're gonna pull back to the city. 27%'s good. Set ourselves an ambush here. Yeah, we just don't have two-handed weapons. We need more of those. They're coming over. I guess we won't go after Cao Cao's target. We'll go after Sun Tzu for now. We took that. Yeah, the south is going to get busy very soon. We have some good generals on the bench. Alright, that's a good build. I want to upgrade that. That's about it. I think all the other buildings have been stuck on reforms. 
The only ones we might want to consider is Taiyuan continue to upgrade this to get extra building slots. And our leader. Our leader could do something, but I feel like we're just going to rest up here. I don't know when the Lion Rebels are going to turn on us, but once they do, we're going to have our hands full. Yeah, so I'm hoping they will become Emperor. I, I'm assuming they're super strong out west. Maton's down here. And Gondu is doing so great. Like, he's not even getting beaten back. It looks like he might take this. Mm, that's fine. Wish him luck. Okay, our ambush failed. Uh, we got caught by Sao Hodun's army. So the only thing I'm concerned about is how strong their generals are. And the fact they have tiger... Oh, wow. Tiger and Leopard Cavalries. Okay. We have a good army. So it's not like a peasant fight. And we can also pick Night Battle. Alright, let's go. Alrighty. So, weather's good. Terrain is okay. We have to fight this one pretty cleanly because if you remember, Talon has a huge army in the waters. So even if we win, but we take a lot of casualties, we'll get wiped by Talon afterward. I think this is a... we do have fire, so I mean we could utilize the fire in the forest a little bit better. But the, the terrain's so tilted, I don't want to fight downhill. I don't want to fight in the forest either. I guess just a little less fire action. Yeah, probably no fire action. Yeah, that does feel wasted. Because technically we could disorient them twice, make them stay in the forest as it burns. That would be like beautiful. So I guess we'll fight a little downhill. All right, we'll do this. Uh, maybe that's too much, actually. Yeah, we just gotta catch the outer rims because we just want it to burn, and we just want to make them stand there for a little bit. I'm choosing to stack them this way instead of a straight line because I don't have that many units to guard the front, so we kind of have to stack them a bit. That goes for the archers as well. You want to keep it compact. Right, she's got nice abilities. We should be okay. We're absolutely not gonna. Oh no 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 no! Stay on your horse. We're absolutely not gonna duel the Sahel brothers. That's just suicide. All right, we have 240, so lots of unit means we can stretch them out pretty thin. We just got to protect against cavalry. Infantry, I'm confident our range superiority can take care of. Oh, wrong way. Just worried about the calves. I'm, I'm very sure they're going to try to flank our siege weapons, probably even from the back, but we're going to protect the sides for now, and if they're going to come from the back, we'll rotate. Alright, move them up. We've got to have these hotkeyed. Alright, we're good. We need them to disorient people. Alright, getting the right hits is going to be very important. A lot of guessing work. Ooh, cavalry. Hmm. Do we want to use the shots on the infantry? Try to get as many kills as we can. I guess we can start firing. Because we can start lighting the forest on fire. That fire is going to last. That's got to hit that guy. Not lighting up? I see smoke, I don't see fire. I 
How many did we kill? How many is in here? Kill seven? That's not a lot. Not ideal getting chased around. But we need to wait for... Okay, we're getting the fire started. Good. split them up. One's going to disorient that group, one's going to disorient this group. Let the fire hit first before we suicide ourselves in there. Alright, hit this side. Nobody moves, nobody moves. Pull them back. We're gonna get one good volley on this side and maybe a good volley. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna time. I think that's gonna time out, but we get a burning time as they stand on the fire. There we go. Alright, we're gonna pull them back. Alright, we wiped out their infantry. That forest fire, disorient. There we go. We got a couple of elite. Bandit elite bandit gains. I thought these were spear guards. Okay, I guess one of them are spear guards. <sighs> these have missile resistant, but we have a lot of missiles, so I wonder. Stop firing for a little bit. Hit this gap. Alright, we did beat back the 50%. 65% okay, range block sense, 50% missile resistant. Now we can hit these. We should really hit these. I don't, uh, we should be microing them, but I want to micro these. Alright, we got enough arrows. There we go. Peasant band? Uh, must be from the bandit unit. Alright, we're gonna run out of ammo soon. We're gonna conserve a little bit. The generals are coming. Archers firing back. Cavalry got wiped. Is that all their cavalry? No, they have a few more. I'm holding the fire. I'm gonna wait till they get closer. Peasant Band's gonna get wiped. We'll let archers do all the work first. They have a few ammo left. And... Go. You had tribesmen? Okay, those guys have no range block chance either. Let's try this. Might not be a good idea. We barely did any damage. We do have a bow. Try to weaken him a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna hold all our shots. Uh oh! Why did they move? I want you guys to fire, not move. Stop, stop, stop. They're dead. We'll hit that instead. Rocks? Any time now. Yeah, they're done. Archers ran out of ammo, which is sad. Gonna go make sure everyone stands still. Move back. Oh. Okay, there we go. Don't really care about archers. I think we're just worried about them a little bit. Okay, 
They're moving pretty fast. They all fired. Yeah, we overshot them a little bit. Oh, we still got them. They're all done? All the units are done. Alright, last shot. Yeah, last shot. Pull them back, pull them back. Before they... Okay, move these to the back. We charge you. You do not charge us. The good news is we have good armor piercing. The bad news is he sapled one. Can we smash him with this? I want to route Sao Doing and kill Sao Yuan. Yeah, the morale is temporarily injured. Hit him a couple times, get him to leave us. Alright, he's done. Good, 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 good. Let him go. We'll also heal, because why not? Actually, Sao Yuan has less health. He's rallied back. Hmm, then we want him to just route like most vanguards. Once they lose a bit of health. Alright, we won. They're all gonna route. I wanna capture them. Alright. I would say that's a pretty clean fight. Moving up towards the trees, definitely a good idea. Alrighty. So our range army did work. And we killed a lot. Only lost 93. Not the ratio we're used to. This is how we usually play the game. Xiao Yuan got captured. Okay. This means we get to fight Xiao Dun one more time. Alright, we finally got a reform. So we got ourselves. Oh, Athletic of the Way. Okay. Uh, it's a decent unit if you want to use them for ambushes. They're good for charging up front. But look at the stat, right? Why would we recruit him? 51 damage, 2 armor piercing, 20 attack speed, when we can just recruit peasants, who has 42 uh, regular damage, 0 armor piercing. So you get 56 extra percentage of melee evasion, so you're really agile, nimble, dodging guy, but much more expensive than a peasant. So uh, don't really favor them, but we are looking to get Huang Lao right here. Paragon, Huang Lao's Paragon, I believe that's what they're called. Yep. And we're going to get the level 5 horse pasture as well. That's kind of our end goal here. And then we can start moving on to some of these more civic reforms. We we're interested in getting 10% faction-wide corruption reduction. And a couple more local leader doesn't hurt either. Aside from that, the rest are really not that necessary. I guess for buildings. I think we're, we're going to get these two first. This one in particular is very key. And then we might move to some building upgrades. Um, in particular, I need to look at which one gives us the copper mine upgrade or the faction-wide corruption reduction because we do have a few copper mine and we could definitely utilize that bonus. I feel like it's in this tree. No, I lied. Ah... It's in the military doctrine tree. But this is the building we're looking for. So we're going to move through Jade, which we don't have. The mustering bonus then into that. Hmm. I mean, it's fine. We do, we do need it. 4% for each of our copper mine. It's going to be very valuable. He's... Getting slightly happier with us. He's losing recently higher and also losing lack of purpose. I, uh, if we only had a 
cunning giving item like this. Who's holding it? Let's see who is holding it. Okay, you don't need to be holding it. Where's our guy? We're gonna steal that so we get some happiness and cunning at the same time. There we go. That ties him over. Our main army is pretty much healed up. I feel like we should join the fight somewhere. I want to take Bilbao's land as we said earlier. We will be trespassing, huh? Are we ready to trespass? Then let's just trespass faster. There we go. This is the army that struggled against Handong for a while. Now we're suddenly full healed and attacking their rice paddy. Surprise! The peasants are back, reclaiming the farmland. Alright, he's not guarding this. All his armies are over here. He replaced them with Ma Wan. Okay, Ma Tong's faction. Zan Ba. Okay, pretty good characters Cao Cao has. Alright, reinforcements here. We can have 12 tribuches firing in the same fight. I want to see that actually. We're not going to chase. We're going to go together. It's going to make the push into Cao Cao over here. Elsewhere, I'm a little bit scared to go into the water again because of Liu Bell. In case we run out of movement and get caught, that'd just be a disaster. I'm going to leave Yuan Shu completely to our brothers. Maybe I can ask him. Yes, finish them. We got a few new characters, which is nice to see. Doesn't really matter, we're taking everyone. Oh, we have new local leaders, right. Okay, so as you can see, you really need local leaders to boost income because it kills off a lot of the corruption. Only minus 26% versus minus 38, 41 now. Now we keep taking out more land. So we have like identical builds. They're all level three industry buildings. I think we're just going for these two until we have a better one to swap them. Commerce is fine. Industry would be better. All income would be the best. I think these would be rather temporary, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe then just commerce, if that's the case. No one else is good. 5% industry? 5% industry or 10% commerce? Five, oh, 5% 5 industry. Yeah, 5% industry. Yellow Turban has very high base industry, which is very, very nice. A few new items, officer. I don't think our units have access to formations, even if we get items like that, so... I guess they're just nice to have a little bit of stat boost on the characters. Yeah, mostly nothing to build. Just had to check stuff for like that. Oh yeah, I want to upgrade this first. Population, eh, not growing too hot, but we're working on it. Okay, everyone moved. Let's continue. I'm gonna wait for the fight over here. Alright, we finally triggered one of these. So it's been a few turns since we sent them in, so it's not like you don't get it right away, you never get it. I want scholars. So right now, we're not really looking for armies, we're looking for passive boost. And scholars are the only class that's likely to start with insight. This is actually quite good. Right new upkeep discount? Who has expensive right new? Who has our... Um, it's in Zhang Zhao's army. These are 216 per unit. Yeah, definitely. Zhang Kai. 
Uh, it's nice to have Shadowrunner. We need Tal's horse for this bonus. Oh, that's actually a great bonus on him. All right, who else have expensive armies? Trebuchet needs... Oh, he has expensive army. There we go. Pulse. Or strong so There we go. Perfect. Some savings right there. Level up. I'm just going to go for insight. Research is everything right now. We are trying to march over. Yeah, we're going to get there. Now, whether we can beat Gongdu to it is another question. Luo Jun has joined Liu Bao's faction. Liu Bao's running back. That's undefended, but it's a large regional city. That should hold for a little bit. We're not going to go after this. We're going to go after counties for now. Copper mine. Copper mine is really good. We're going to let this army group take care of Tal Tal's territories. They also have the siege weapons. Where did they run to? Okay. We're just going to chase them. Another copper mine. So we'll have four copper mine. That's another 16% once we get the reform for, faction, uh, for corruption reduction. I think there's six total copper mines. There's one more in Jiangyang. That's slightly to the west. And the other copper mine, I believe... Where is the... Where is the sixth one? Right, we have one about to be two here, and then three, and then we have one in the north at Hedong. And I know there's one more in Jiangyang down over here. Where's the sixth and final one? Oh, it's over here. Wudu has one, I believe. Right. That's going to be hard to reach. Uh, four is pretty good, I think, if you get the four. Especially if there's three in the south. That's the cluster that you really want to hit. Mm, they don't need us here. Liobao is clearly not in the river. I think it's our turn to take a trip. It could backfire, but let's gamble. All right, I want the satisfaction boost first. Are we getting siege summer? Why am I getting the purple notification? Uh? That's a lie. Guys, where's the siege? I see an army. I don't see a siege. I'm confused. But this does mean we should send out our best generals here. Alright, we'll use these two. They have weapons. I don't know why we're under siege. That doesn't make any sense. But we moved everyone. Let's uh, continue. All right, Lady Gun also died. Six, yeah, eunuch took over. That's a first. You have a eunuch faction leader. Uh, we're gonna take fraternal over this loyal, and we're gonna end our episode here. Oh, we have a siege in the salt mine. Okay. Ding Yuan, he's still alive. We fought him way earlier. What's our garrison like here? Alright, they're gonna have to run. Alright, we're gonna run them over, take care of this uh, next episode. And elsewhere, we're just gonna continue our expansion to the south. Sa Dun has popped up over here, counterattacking us. Interesting.
Okay, so we're gonna have to maneuver a little bit to protect some of our key assets here. We might have to have him turn around. Which is gonna surround Cao Cao here in Jian'an. I don't know how much more land he has, but we're gonna split these two group up. One will finish this, one will finish that, meet up with this group, and then he will collapse over here to stop him. And then we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way towards is the weapon craftsman. It's still there, so we'll try to go get it. And elsewhere, our allies, I think allies are doing great. Gray is Leon Rebels, also doing great. We'll consider them our allies. And uh, we are pretty much stretched across the whole map. Very thin layer of resistance left. Just gotta go through all of them. And uh, our main task ahead is Sun Tzu and Cao Cao. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you guys next time. Bye!